Welcome back to Pokemon Emerald. Last time, we took on the uh, Team Aqua base over here in Lily Cove City, and then we sailed all the way over here to Moss Deep City, and now we're actually headed back to <laughs> Lily Cove because there's, well, uh... I'll, I'll explain it once we get there, but there was something towards the end of the episode that we got in Moss Deep that, uh, that requires us to go back to Lily Cove to get because, well, there's a, this is, this is kind of a dumb thing, but whatever. <laughs> So, uh, oh my goodness, stop calling me, you people, yes, you're running, stop calling me while you're running, good lord, that is one of the things I actually dislike about Emerald, people constantly calling you, interrupting you, okay, uh, so yeah, the dumb thing, so, uh, so, you do not get the Super Rod until you get to Moss Deep City. But there is a Pokemon over here in Lily Cove that you can only get with the Super Rod. So if you want to catch a Pokemon with a Super Rod that can only be found in Lily Cove, you have to go to Moss Deep, get the Super Rod, and then come back here to get these, this, this one Pokemon that only shows up here with the Super Rod. That was a mouthful, wasn't it? So let's catch a Pokemon. Oh, got away. Dang it. And the worst thing of all is this isn't even a guaranteed catch that we'd be able to fish it up with. I'm actually gonna switch Delphine because, uh, because glare is the thing that she has and that can paralyze it, which is good. Not even a nibble. Well, I guess we, we may be fishing here for a little bit. But the Super Rod should be able to fish things up pretty easily. Not even a nibble. What the heck? Fish up something at least. Oh, bite. What do you mean it got away? I pushed it as soon as it showed up. Not even a nibble. Man, maybe I should equip it to the select button. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. Register. All right, what if I try here? A bite, a bite. Bite. Pokemon's on the hook. Oh, this isn't at all what I was looking for. Well, Whalemer can be found here. I guess I'll catch a Whalemer because we need one at some point. I will be honest, we do need one for a later thing that won't come into play until way later. If you played the games, you'll know what it is. Anyways, glare. Whalemer is paralyzed and is in red health, so we should be able to catch it pretty easily. Man, only level 25. That does not still, uh, that is does not instill confidence in the Pokemon I'm actually looking for. Uh, Mess Ball? I mean, we are 10 levels higher than it, so this shouldn't be a bad option. Hey, we caught Whalemer. Not the Pokemon I'm looking for, but we do need it for later. Whalemer, the ball whale Pokemon. While this Pokemon usually lives in the sea, it can survive on land, although not too long. It loses vitality if its body becomes dried out. Oh no, that's terrible. Okay, well, let's keep looking for the Pokemon I'm actually looking for. Uh, 
Not even a nibble. Man, it should be able to be found here, but I'm just not having the luck. All right, this may take a minute. Just, just give me a few. Oh, a bite. It got away. <sighs> you need to push that as soon as it appears. Bop, bop. Okay, well, we have something on the line. Is that what I'm looking for? No, it's another Whalmer. Ah, man, this would have been a better one to catch because it's level 30 instead of level 25. I'm upset. Not gonna use up Pokeballs because... Heck. If we run into another higher level Pokemon, uh, Whalmer, though, then yeah, I'll try to catch it. Well, that one was a quick one. A Pokemon's on the hook! Is it what I'm looking for? No, it's another Whalmer. It's level 33. <sighs> okay, fine, I'll catch this one too. But only because it's almost 10 levels higher than the one that I caught earlier. Glare. Now, the reason why we need a Whalmer isn't going to come up for a bit, but just know that you do need a decently high-leveled Whalmer for reasons. Uh, I'll just try regular Pokeball for now. I don't, I don't need anything fancy for Whalmer because I'd like to save my good Pokeballs for later. Oh, hey, that was actually enough to catch it because Paralysis! And also, it's, uh, it's catch rate may not be that low. Okay, let's continue the hunt. Oh, that was quick. Hey, there's our little star-shaped friend. It's only level 26. Uh, do we keep looking for a higher level Pokemon, or do we stick with this? We do have a ton of trainers that we can, uh, train with, because, well, I kind of skipped a whole ton of them in previous routes, and we do have trainer rematches we can do. Uh, okay, let's try to catch this at least. So yeah, uh, this, uh, the Staryu, Staryu is actually the next Pokemon on our team, if we can catch it. Because I need a Psychic type, and are you kidding me? Okay, let's continue the search. Never mind, scratch everything that I just said. In fact, I may just cut that out. Oh, I got away! Actually, no, no, I'm not gonna cut it out or anything like that. Just whatever. Let's just keep looking for another star. You. Oh, of course, there's a level 35 one. After we caught the level 33 one, no, I'm not gonna bother. I'm not gonna have three Whalmer in my PC. No, just no. <laughs> Two is enough. All right, here's another one. It's not as high leveled as the other one. I think the other one was like level 26. Uh, at least I can paralyze this and apparently biting it is not gonna fly. So I may have to switch to another Pokemon. Uh, fire spin? Let's go with fire spin. I don't think this should have anything other than... Uh, I think the worst it'll have is, like, Bubble or Bubble Beam. Uh, Fire Spin. 
Now, hopefully it won't resist the Pokeball catching long enough for it to get knocked out, but you never know. Is paralyzed, so maybe this will work? Maybe. I do want to try the Premier Ball. It would be cool to catch it in a Premier Ball. One, two, three. No! Oh, of course it has to recover. Uh, is it is it is it strong enough to withstand flamethrower? We'll find out. Okay, okay, okay. I can live with that. Okay, so it can withstand one flamethrower. That's good. Uh, man. I want to use something other than just regular Pokeballs. Because it would be cool to have it be not in a regular Pokeball. Hey! We caught it! Staryu was caught! Staryu, the star-shaped Pokemon! It gathers with others in the night and makes its red, uh, red core glow on and off with the twinkling stars. It can regenerate limbs if they are severed from the body. Hence why it can use Recover. Now, what am I gonna name you? Ooh, that's not a bad idea. All right, this is its name, Hoshi. Because the Japanese name for stars, Hoshi. And I just think it would be neat. But now we need to go get it from the PC. Although, we may as well just uh, fly to Moss Deep and get it from there so that we don't have to do shenanigans like fly, uh, surf across the ocean to get back here. All right, Hoshi, welcome to the team. Tropius, you're getting put in the box for a bit just <laughs> just just sit pretty there for a bit. Now, the unfortunate thing is Hoshi is not up to levels at all. In fact, I don't even know why they give they wait so long to give you the super rod if it's only going to give you level 25 Pokémon when most trainers are going to be level above level 30 at this point. But yeah, Hoshi is gonna be getting some experience and levels, although most of that might be off screen because, well, <laughs> it may take a bit to, to get them on par with the rest of the team, which is a little unfortunate, but it's not the worst thing in the world. But there is something that it can do now. I believe it can actually learn some moves that I've been itching to teach some Pokemon. Yes, it can learn Thunderbolt. Shriek cannot, though. That's interesting. But yeah, Hoshi can learn Thunderbolt, which finally takes care of Electric-type Pokemon without having to uh, resort to Shockwave. You only have Normal-type moves? What? What? What have you been doing with your life? Get rid of Rapid Spin. Poof! Alright, so that's the first thing that I'm gonna do, but there are moves that I am gonna teach it, but uh, it looks like I cannot teach it anything else at the moment. But having it have Thunderbolt is actually big, because it has like, Thunderbolt has like 95 power, which is huge. And uh, its special attack is better than its attack, although not by much, but that's also going by a Pokemon that's first off, completely unevolved, and also, uh, yeah, it's 10 levels lower than everyone else, so that's not really a lot to go on. But yeah, I'm gonna have to train this little guy off screen, but something, yeah, yeah, I didn't even think about this. 
I can just give it the experience chair for now. I figured that uh, Staryu would be higher leveled than this, but having it have the experience share for now isn't the worst thing in the world. It'll just take a little bit to level up and stuff. But for now, let's have Archibald in the front because we're actually be gonna be going on a little expedition. Because there's actually an optional route to the north. Route 124. Oh, right. I didn't put up repels. I should probably do that. Alright, so north of Moss Deep City is Route 125. And this route is completely optional. You don't have to come up here at all, but there is some cool stuff that you can do up here. Like battle trainers, I guess. I'm tired of swimming. Are you up for a battle with me? Ma'am, you are the second swimmer in this general vicinity that said that they're tired of swimming and they just want to battle. Oh, Love Disc. I forgot about Love Disc. Uh, I guess I could talk about Love Disc briefly. I believe you can only catch it with the Super Rod, but I'm not sure where exactly. I assume in sea routes only. Maybe in like Lily Cove and Moss Deep. But yeah, you can only fish it up, I believe, and it actually can hold, uh, heart, heart scales, which you need for reteaching moves which makes it kind of important, but aside from that, Love Disc is not a good Pokemon. Oh, she got some experience. It's gonna be getting a lot of experience in these next few episodes. In fact, a lot of it is gonna be off screen maybe, but yeah, it's, it's, it's got a bit of a ways to go because yeah, that only filled it up with a little bit. Okay, I'm actually gonna see where you can even find uh, Love Disc. Oh, wow. Uh, oh, you can only find it down there. Oh. That kinda sucks. Well, <laughs> at least we know where to find it if we ever wanted it. But most of its uses is just getting a heart scale held item off of it. How would you like to take on the water type Pokemon I raised? I would be glad to. Seeking. Ooh. Seeking, the evolved form of Goldeen. It's just a bigger Goldeen with a bigger horn and it's orange. There's nothing else that's super special about Seeking. Boodoo. Thank you, Pokedex, for telling me something that I already knew. Really, Seeking is just not a very notable, uh, noble Pokemon. Because it's, all it has is just a bigger horn and it's orange instead of... Well, it's more of like a red orange than just orange than it was. As a goldine. Also, I'm noticing that the trainers are higher level here, which is good. It just means more experience and also more challenge, which is good. Lost it. Yay. Now, what else is on this route is... Uh, do I have to battle you two? No, I don't. Okay. What else is on this route is this cave. Shoal Cave. Oh, the tide is down. Okay, that's important. Are you planning on going deep in there? How about bringing me back some shoal salt and shoal shells? I can make you something good if you can bring me ingredients. So, here's the thing about Shoal Cave. Depending, uh, depending on, what was it, 
yeah, depending on the internal clock and stuff, uh, this cave can have high tide and low tide, which means different uh, different parts are the, of the cave are accessible at different points. So come back here later when the tide is high and you can access different parts of the cave. As you can see, it's tide is low, so we can only access some parts. So we will have to come back here at some point when the the uh when the tide is at a different point. Also, these piles uh will generate shoal salt uh over time. You'll have to come back here to get more. But there are there is more in different parts of the cave. Now, I do believe that there's a certain part of the cave that we cannot access at this point because it's low tide. Oh, yeah. Oh wait, maybe maybe this is it actually. Oh, hello, sir. What's your deal? The penetrating cold around these parts is an impediment to training, but with focus, one can overcome. With this focus band, buckle down and withstand the cold. Oh. I guess I can take that. Thank you, sir. Uh, that's... Hmm. Oh. Shoal salt? Uh, I guess I can use strength on this. This boulder. Aha! So you can access this part of the cave right now. Okay, so I guess you can only access this part when it's low tide. Which is good for me. But, uh, there is something in this cave that we can only access in this part when it's low tide. But, uh, our propel is on, so we'll have to wait a minute to wait for it to wear off. Please wear off soon. Uh, because I actually want to encounter this Pokemon. Uh, oh. Hello, random Zubat sound. Okay, here we go. Uh, so yeah, the, the propel wore off, so we should be running, running into it soon. Never melt ice! Okay. Aha! Steel! I'm actually going to catch this little guy. Uh, faint attack? Should it be able to stand up to faint attack? Hmm. Oh, the answer is just barely. So as you can see, it, it has ice type moves. Which is not good for Archibald over here, but... It would be good on a team. Unfortunately for it, I actually used uh, its evolution in a game a while ago. Spiel the Clap Pokemon. It is a completely, uh, what? It is completely covered with plushy fur. As a result, it never feels the cold, even when it is rolling about on ice floes or diving in the sea. Uh, no nickname. So yeah, um, I, this isn't something I, I... Okay. Okay, Zubat. Sure. Fine. So, uh, anyways, yeah, this isn't something that I actively, uh advertise all that much, but uh, I have used uh, Spiel's Evolution in a previous game that has been on this channel. Uh, <laughs> I don't advertise this much because this was an LP that was years and years and years ago, and it was not good. <laughs> but uh, it was a Pokemon Diamond randomizer, and I happened to get a Walrein as the starter, so I just rolled with it and 
yeah, that was my evolution for for the family that I used, and yeah, that LP was pretty bad. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I did use the family in a team a while ago on a YouTube video project series, so I feel like it would not, I, I shouldn't. Ooh, hail. I don't know, I just feel like it would be a good idea to use different Pokemon for different projects. And since I've never used a Staryu, period, I feel like it would be a better fit than Walrein or the whole family. And also, it would just take a while to train it up and evolve it and stuff. I mean, yeah, it's going to take a bit for Staryu as well, but I, I think it would take longer to train up Spiel. I don't know. Just wanted to interject quickly about a couple things before leaving this room. First, uh, Spiel can be found anywhere in Shoal Cave, not just this ice room. Second, there is a different Pokemon that can only be found in the ice room. Snowrunt, a pure ice type. This room is the only place in the entire game that you can find this guy. Don't know how it slipped my mind that Snowrunt is in this room, but it did. Anyways, back to pre-editing commentary. But yeah, that's the, this area. I'm glad we could cover the ice cave in, right, right away. <laughs> because when we come back here next time, it'll be high tide, hopefully. It'll hopefully be high tide so we can take on the rest of the cave. And I think that's all we can do in the Shoal Cave right now. Aside from, did I put up? Okay, I did. Yeah, I, I think that's all we can access in this cave. So low tide equals shoal salt. But we'll have to come back here when it's high tide for shoal, cell, uh, shoal shells. I think I'm actually just going to use... Actually, I'll just run out. I don't think it's that long of a run. I think I just hop down here. Yeah, I think it's out that door. Yeah, that sounds right. So, uh, yeah, that's all we can do in this cave right now because it's low tide. We'll have to come back when it's high tide so we can get other items. But it's good that we came here during low tide. So that I could at least catch Spiel and talk about it briefly. Uh, yeah, uh, I don't know. Let's battle you. Let's battle you two. Kim, can you tell me why we're looking out here, or what we're looking out for out here? Uh, same thing, just different phrasing. Whatever. Swablu and Nubble. Ah, uh, I'm not sure I like this matchup. Uh, I can use Faint Attack on the Nubble and Thunderbolt on the Swablu at least. But Nubble against Archibald, uh, not the best matchup. Even if Archibald is way stronger in terms of stats and stuff. Oh, Hoshi. Oh, no. Archibald should be able to handle things, but... Let's start to use defense. Ah, dang it. Yeah, I was, I was, I was worried about that. Uh, bloop. All right, I'm just gonna use Archibald's turn to revive Hoshi because it needs as much experience as I can get it. Get out of here, Swablu. Same with you, Nummel. Okay, that's, that's some experience for Hoshi. At least. Oh, we came sort of close. I 
Funny old man lives in the Shoal Cave, doesn't he? Let's go see him, Iris. Kim, are we really going to the, the Shoal Cave? We'll get all wet. Well, not the, the way it is right now because it's low tide. So you're fine in terms of getting wet in the cave. Uh... Did I battle you? I don't know if I battled you. I heard you approaching, so I hung around for you. I'm sorry, who are you? Are you a stalker? Swimmer Nolan? Oh, you have a tentacruel. Oh no, this is bad. Uh... And this is why I need to train up Hoshi because of things like Tentacruel and Gyarados that are not going to be affected by grass type because I need <laughs> I need Thunderbolt and Staryu is the only one that could learn it apparently. <sighs> Absorb for now. Yeah. Yeah. All right, I may just switch to Shriek. Man, that did hardly anything in terms of healing and damage. All right, Shriek. Yeah, you're throwing around acid again. I get it. You. You like that stuff. Me? Not a fan. Shockwave! Uh, just keep using Shockwave. I don't know, man. That's the best I got. <laughs> Until I train Hoshi up, that's gonna be the best I can do. Another bubble beam. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Speed lowered, yep. Uh-huh, and also health low. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Oh, Hoshi leveled up. Nice. That's one step towards it being more useful than it is. Currently. I surrender! Sound travels faster in water than it does through the air. Fun fact! Thank you, Swimmer Nolan. Is that your name? I think it was. Uh... Oh no, let's use some lemonades. Because apparently, the, the trainers are getting stronger. Alright, uh... I don't know, let's get back to town first before we do anything else. Because apparently the trainers here are getting stronger and stronger. Are you kidding me? Alright, we're back at Moss Deep City. I have healed up my Pokemon and... Yeah, that's about it. <laughs> uh, next time... We'll probably be taking on this gym over here because, well, it's the thing to do next. <laughs> In between episodes, I am going to be uh, training up Hoshi just so they can hold their own. So that's something. <laughs> I don't know what you want out of me, man. I, don't, I, I just don't know. Anyways, yeah, off-screen training is going to be a thing, and next time is going to be the gym. I already said all that. I'll see you guys next time for more Pokemon Emerald. Bye.